check out popcrunch.com, the web's premier celebrity tabloid. Hi, I'm Nikki Key, and you're watching The Daily Idea. One of the most popular resolutions people make is to leave their current job for something better. Some people want to live their dreams, be it writing for a living, starting a career as a guidance counselor, or taste testing new laxatives. Wait, nobody wants to become a guidance counselor. When you reach out for these dreams, you need to leave your current job, which isn't always an easy thing to do. We here at The Daily Idea want to give you some tips on not burning a bridge that you may need to cross over at a later date. Tip number one, don't be arrogant. Sure, you may have landed a new job that pays three times the amount of money and actually gives you the title and responsibility you deserve, but don't act like you are better than your current job. Walking into work and bragging about your job, then pulling down your pants and taking a dump on the floor while trying to spell out, I quit, isn't a good final note. While impressive, the planning and the amount of White Castle you need to eat aren't worthwhile. Tip number two, don't disparage your current company or coworkers. Although you're leaving, it isn't good to run through the laundry list of things you don't like about the company. Telling your soon to be former employer about the company's inefficiencies, your leering coworker or an accounting loophole that accountant Jones is bilking for thousands is just not good form. Leave without ripping apart the institution that you work for no matter how messed up it may be. Tip number three, don't gossip. Just because you're on your way out the door doesn't mean you need to reveal all the little secrets about your coworkers. Sure, while you might not like Todd over an accounts payable, you don't need to go and tell everyone you found hemorrhoid cream in his desk while looking for the new TPS report. Also, Sarah at the front desk doesn't need to have her reputation sullied with you telling everyone at work who she has slept with. Your future former coworkers are people you may need to rely on again, and bad blood is the last thing you want. And finally, don't steal anything. If anything turns up missing in your final days, you are going to be the one to catch the blame. Keep your nose clean and don't take anything that could end up being potential evidence against you. Just in case those false accusations of you taking a company laptop reach corporate security. This goes out the window though if you have any photos that can be used to blackmail important company figures. If that is the case, take whatever isn't nailed down. We hope you find these tips helpful in leaving your current company and wish you luck at your new career, be it an elementary teacher or back hair removal artist. And that's another Daily Idea. Heart Crunch is updated daily with everything from who's drinking too much to who's not eating enough. Find out who's out of rehab, who's out of the closet, and who's out on bail today. For the latest celebrity dirt, popcrunch.com. Don't just... Sorry, I didn't know you were going. While quitting it... Sorry. While quitting...